and this is Nuria. Hi. And today we are going to have some super summer fun for you. We are going to show you guys how to make a kite from home. So stay tuned. For this craft, you're going to need some very simple household supplies. We've got a trash bag, some fun colored duct tape, scissors, string, and ribbon. And then for the frame, we are going to use dowels because we already have them, but if you don't, it's super fun to go out and collect the right sort of sticks that you want to build your frame. This one is an amazingly large stick, but it would be perfect for a fun frame for your kite. So for our kite, Miss Nuria and I are going to use three dowels together for the long part of the frame. And then for the shorter part of the frame, that should be about one third of the way down we are going to use two dowels. So you see it makes a really nice frame. So we'll be back after we start duct taping them. Okay, so when you guys are ready and you have your frame complete, now is the time to tie your frame together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the string and we're gonna wrap the string around the back of the main stick. When your string is wrapped around the back of the main stick, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the string across the front of the stick and we're gonna pull it tight so that we know it's there, right? And then we're gonna take one side and pull it back underneath and then the other side and pull it back underneath so that it makes a very nice X crisscross here. And then we're gonna tie a knot right here on the front. All right, now we have our, our knot tied. So what we're gonna do is we're going to continue wrapping. So you're gonna take the one side and put it around twice around the stick. And then you're gonna do it the same with the other side. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna wrap it twice around its current side. One, and you wanna make sure the string is secure and tight to the center. Two, and then you're gonna go back to their side and you're going to bring it from here to here in a crisscross. You're gonna do that twice. One, yeah, two, and then the same thing here to here. One, two, and now, just like in the beginning, we're gonna take both of these two strings and we're gonna tie a knot right here. Yay! So now that your frame is tied, we have our trash bag. And as you can see, we have our frame on our trash bag and we've measured it out. So our frame fits on our trash bag exactly how we want it. And now we are going to cut the trash bag to fit the frame. So when we cut it, we wanna leave a little bit of extra room so that we can make sure to tie it off correctly. So we're gonna cut a little bit of extra room and we're gonna cut all four corners. And then after it's all cut, we'll be back to show you how to tie your trash bag onto your frame. So as you can see, our uh, kite is now cut and we've actually already uh, knotted the top and we're going to show you how to knot the bottom. You wanna make sure that you knot the top and then the bottom because if you do the sides before you do the top and the bottom, there might not be enough trash bag to cover the sides and that's not great. So how we are going to knot it is we are going to wrap it and then we are going to take the string and we are going to go around several times, try five or six or seven or how many, many your string will allow. We're gonna knot it. And then we're gonna go around a few more times just for good measure and knot it again. We want this tight. And then we are going to make sure to cut off the excess string so that it doesn't hold any drag for the wind. Now that the top and the bottom are both tied, we are going to move on to the sides. And since we just showed you how to tie it, we're gonna go ahead and tie both sides 
off of camera. We'll be right back. Now that we have tied off all four sides, you can see that we now have our kite. So now we have to attach the flying string. So we're gonna take a long piece of string and we're going to knot it on either side, leaving enough string to pull and make like a nice V. So she's gonna go ahead and knot this. There we go. And now we are going to measure. We want our string to be about here. So I'm gonna put my finger down and then she's gonna pull it tight so that she can go ahead and make a knot over on that side. And now that she's tying off that the knot, our kite is almost complete. We only have two super simple steps left. Now that the flying string has been attached, we need to add ribbon to the bottom to counterbalance it. And this is just some ribbon we had left over in the library and we're just doing three because we wanna make it look pretty and fancy. So all we're gonna do is tie off the ribbon to the bottom and then we'll be right back. Now that our pretty women ribbon is attached, our kite is almost completely done. All we have to do now is tie off this string to our spool of string that we're going to use to fly the kite. So you wanna make sure you have a lot of string so that your kite can get really high up in the air. You're gonna tie a knot right here and then your kite will be complete and ready to go outside. <laughs> Yay! Okay, everybody, so we were able to get our kite flying. There was a storm on the way that day. It didn't get too high up in the air, but we did get it flying a little bit. Thanks to Miss Nuria for throwing it up and our branch manager, Mary Butler, for getting it flying. If you guys noticed, we did make a few modifications for it to fly. So right here we have our finished kite and you will notice that we taped down all four sides. Because our dowels were short and we taped them, it made this really not very stable. So when you make your own, I would say try to find a stick or a dowel that's just long enough to go the entire way. We also added a third string up top for stability because it was flying all over the place. So after we added these one, two, three, four, five stabilizing measures, we were able to get our kite in the air <laughs> and have a very successful maiden voyage. So I hope that you guys can do that yourself. If you want to do any, anything a little extra, you might wanna just make the ribbons a little longer on the bottom for extra stability. So thanks everybody for joining us. I hope you make your own kite. I hope you can get it flying. It was really fun to do this with my coworkers here at the library. And you guys, the library is now fully open. So I hope to see every single one of you here. And as always, I will see you in the next video.